was younger, my father got ill, and I witnessed a team of doctors just bring him back to the money is and I decided I want to be a part of that. And so from around the age of 14, I, thought I, I decided I want to be a medical doctor. The experience of that has been absolutely incredible. We're really getting a big piece of China's culture. Well, we've been so warmly received by everybody. Everywhere we go, it's just photos, and we're getting so much love. It's, it's incredible. We all come to Miss World saying, I'm going to win, you know, and then we come here and we see a hundred and odd girls and they're like, she's amazing, she's incredible. And then you just realize, oh my goodness, these, all, all these girls deserve a crown. Roll camera. Speed. And action. <laughs> and the first Jamaican with Rastafarian roots to win the title of Miss World Jamaica. And it's caused quite a stir in my country. Um, I've been getting the love and the support, sporting my dreadlocks. I feel very confident and very beautiful with my hairstyle and with the values that have been given through the Rastafarian principles and cultures and faith. We're all different and we're all unique and we all have a special purpose in the world. <laughs> Last but not the very least, Miss Jamaica, you have completed our top five. And now it's your turn to tell the judges why you think you should win tonight. Daja Hao Sanya. Hello everyone. I am already so grateful for being here and truly touched. Uh, my story is one of a little girl whose life was transformed with charity and love. And my quest in life is to give that back to as many people as I can and to inspire the world with my story that no matter where you're from, your skin type, your hair color, your situation, your dreams are valid and I believe Beauty with a purpose embodies my quest and if I was blessed with the crown tonight I would dedicate my essence to impacting the world in a purposeful and beautiful way with charity and love. Thank you.